Welcome back guys, I'm Cobble13 and today we're starting a series all about CSGO news, basically professional news and anything else that goes on in the CM. I try and cover it in a nice short video, basically very compact for everybody to listen to. Alright, first up, TSM have yet to pick a organization to play under. Last we know they're under question mark, they have signed contracts but we don't know where they're going. Optic Gaming pushes into the NA scene, they picked up the old ex-Conquest team and they dismantled CSGO Lounge this past weekend in Las Vegas. Cloud9 has yet to pick up a fifth player. That'll be interesting when they finally choose somebody. Day, Steel, Swag, and AZK are remaining permanently banned. I'm gonna come up with another video on that, talking about what I think about it. I think it's ridiculous and a waste of talent. Ninjas in Pajamas keeps Forest, Get Right, Frybird, and Exist. They drop Alu and pick up Pyth. Uh, it seems to be a strange move. They don't really have an opera. I don't know what's going on over there. There's a resurgent of 1.6 pros for instance, Efrod and MSX are coming back and playing on different teams. Liquid signs Simple, the great but very toxic player. Uh, I feel he fit him pretty nicely because Hiko seems to be kind of that same way and not necessarily toxic. And Activision and Blizzard buy out MLG. More news on that to come. There hasn't been much released on how it may or may not affect CSGO tournaments, so stay tuned for that. DreamHack announces two tournaments this year for $250,000. That's just as much as a major, and they're calling it DreamHack Masters. It's kind of like Intel Masters. I don't know if they're robbing the name or what's going on there. And then Nuke, is it gonna make a comeback? We saw Train get a comeback and revamped and they brought it back the exact same way. They, they hinted at the little logo thing showing penetration with damage. So now they did the same thing with Nuke. We saw the, the little sign in the screenshot they sent out. So we'll see if Nuke comes back this year. And then finally, the TV leagues are gonna begin this year. We're talking about $1 million pots for both TV leagues. This is gonna be crazy for the teams that are making it. It's gonna be great to watch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and like, check out my other content if you haven't seen it yet. Peace out.